Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel, The Blood Samurai. My name is Sam and today we're back playing Obliterate Everything 3. So yeah, uh, to start off, I'm going to buy this technology right here. Um, base can't, so this makes it so that my stations, star docks, uh, star ports, and naval yards have auto cannons. And then if I had more of these, then it would add some extra fire rate to that. And I'm going to show why that is so broken uh, whenever I get the chance to. Um, yeah, eventually I want to spend my uh, metal as well, or my iron, or whatever it's called. But yeah, so my station here now has auto cannons, which is going to be really good. And let's just put some reactors down. Where do I want to put it? I don't know. I mean, the station can now basically defend itself. I don't even really need to put down any turrets until maybe later on. Um, but even then, I probably can just put down nothing. I don't even I don't even think I really need anything. Um, I just need to make sure I keep everything kind of close to my station, and then it'll just kind of defend whatever I need defended. I mean, you know. I could put, like, you know, I could just have, like, a repair turret if it takes any damage, and then, and then I'm just good to go. I hope something tri actually tries to attack me so I can kind of show you guys how, uh, you know, if the, because, like I said, it's been a while since I've played this game, like, actually, like, and gone far with it, so I'm hoping that it's actually, it's still, I'm hoping that these turrets are actually as good as I think that they are going to be these auto cannons I should say that I have put on the station I hope they're as good as I think they will be all I know is that I am building out a lot and put like putting a lot of reactors down We're getting a lot of energy production. <laughs> Is that enough? Probably, but we're gonna keep expanding. Okay, yeah, there we go. See? See, that I told you it was gonna be good. Yeah, I'm just gonna put down our repair. Oh, wait, that's not a repair turret. Yeah, the only reason why I'm putting these guys down is so that I can create some constructors because I need to expand a bit more. Because I need more room to put down, you know, you know my, like my dis mosquitoes and things like that. And I just like had like a whole issue talking right there. That was crazy. I going to have one guy that's that for nights. Oh wait, I do need to actually have like a space to put the constructors though. That is a that's a bit of a important thing to have, you know. Just have a whole insurgents back here. A whole fleet. I don't even think I used the word insurgents right. I don't know what that word means. Okay, well, everything's pretty much going to be destroyed. I mean, we have a ton of just everything, just everywhere, just showing up. Here, hold on. I want to show off the star dog having the turrets. There we go. See, they even have auto cannons. Nice. Cool. Great. That's the only reason why I built that. Okay, now we have the Phalanx, which is actually going to be pretty good. I mean, it, it can destroy, like, you know, missiles and things of that sort. Um, anything else that I want? Not really. I mean, the, auto, the base cannon thing was pretty, pretty good. Um, but everything else, I don't think I really need it or want it or anything. Uh, let's just go for some more money. I 
Like I said, he's got he's got cannons now, um, auto cannons to be more exact. So I mean, he's gonna be in a pretty good spot, to just kind of defend himself. Don't really need to worry about anything. I can just focus on putting in uh, reactors. I wish there was like a you know fast forward button or something like that, because otherwise I just kind of have to keep talking while I'm doing the boring stuff like putting in reactors. Cause yeah, there's not really anything else to do. I mean, that's kind of why I like to just put the fighter base down and just. See what happens. Cause cause a little bit of chaos. While I'm waiting for the energy to show up. <sighs> this is so slow. I wish it wasn't so slow. Gonna spam the button. I mean, eventually you could get to a point where you're generating more energy than you're spending. I mean, there is a there is a point in time where you can get that. I do not plan on ever go get, getting to. Wow, I'm like turning into like freaking goofy over here trying to talk. Um. Yeah, I mean, eventually you could get to that point. I'm not going to, but it is very well possible. Just depends on how fast you're putting things down, of course. If you're going slow, like if you're going at the speed at which I'm going, then yeah, you could you'd obviously make more energy than... But if you're going a little bit faster, then you're going to need some more energy. Like, I'm getting close to the point where I can do that, but... Still pretty far away from it. Let me put some of these guys down. So then I can put this guy down. Put that guy down. Why can I not build up to there? Guess I can't. Okay, whatever. Wow, that thing does not have as much defense as I thought it would. Okay, well let me put some more of these guys down. And then I can just kind of start throwing the mosquitoes in. I feel like I'm like the boss right now, just kind of like throwing in like some poor defense stuff like... Like yeah, good luck to your enemy bases when I'm freaking throwing million units at you at a time. Okay, well, that base is gone. Okay, let's just watch the mosquitoes, kind of see what they do, we'll see what happens. I mean, they have to reach the enemy base first, which is already a bit of a challenge in its in itself, but I mean, they are actually destroying enemy units just from the fact that they're, like, having to attack from a distance. And then any enemies that kind of get within that, 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 you know, pathway of their projectile just ends up getting demolished and getting evaporated and there we go everything's getting destroyed and now their base is destroyed and now we're good we're good to go nice we won got 83 credits i'll take it can't spend it on really anything because nothing is that cheap but let's just move on let's go here um there's two bases Again, not really that worried. I mean, we got the auto cannons in case anything does actually end up, end up coming our 
away. Which nothing really will, because the orange base just has the miners. I mean, I'm not that worried. I should probably be focusing on my own base, though. Yeah, okay, well, here come the miners, but yeah, they're just going to get basically immediately evaporated, so nothing to worry about there. Just need to go back to, you know, putting in more reactors. Hopefully we can get something in the future, like a technology that kind of boosts the, uh, the performance of the reactors, because, yeah, we definitely need something along, along those lines. I think that's the biggest difference between this game and, uh, obliterate everything, uh, 2. Sorry. Is that, uh, with this game, it's more, like, focused on, like, actually earning. And more, like, focused around, like, oh yeah, you have to do this. And then, if you complete this, then you can earn this. And But then, you know, you're not getting, you're, the rewards aren't really that big for the amount of time that you're having to spend. But... There's a lot of rewards to earn. So with like Obliterate Everything 2, it was like there are a few rewards and you can earn them very quickly. Um, but with this, it's like there's a lot of rewards, but you have to earn them like over time. So I'm not sure how big of a fan of that I am, but... I don't know. I guess it's probably fine. Probably nothing wrong with it. I don't know. Only two of them reach? Okay. Okay, now let's send in our army of mosquitoes. I wonder if there's a faster way to do this. I guess this is kind of a faster way. Just shift click, I mean. Oh wait, I won. I wasn't really paying attention. I'm trying to figure out the key binds. All right. Again, not too worried about when it comes to defense, cause yeah. These guys are going to be a little bit annoying, but... Uh, so let's just put one of those guys in. That's all we really need to do. Yeah, he'll just destroy the missiles while they're constantly trying to send units at me, and it's just nothing's really... Nothing's really gonna go the way they want it to. I'm just gonna keep putting in reactors. They're gonna keep trying to shoot missiles at me without any success, and... Yeah. I could probably just go all-out mosquitoes right now if I wanted to. 
Eh, yeah, sure. They go. Send out the knights then. Cause yeah, I need something to be able to destroy those stupid freaking medium ships. At this point, though, it doesn't seem like it's really mattering. Mattering? Matter? It doesn't really matter. They're just destroying everything. Okay, we're good. Just us? Okay. Gotta wait. Do, 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 do. Yeah, but here come these little miners that are just gonna get destroyed by the, by the auto cannons. And I wish this part wasn't so slow. Oh yeah, the little plasma bomb things. Wonder if those can get stopped by the phalanx too. I can. Nice. Hopefully just be able to kind of overwhelm them is what I'm going for. Nice, they're able to destroy the star dock thing, star port, star dock, yeah. And then they're just going to destroy the base. The usual. Yeah, there's nothing really like super exciting yet. So I'm kind of waiting for when things get really like difficult. That's kind of what I'm trying to prepare for. Um, 
Yeah, we'll see how that goes. I'm surprised at how little I've really, like, unlocked. Those are more technologies, though. Well, I mean, honestly, I'm, I'm kind of fine with just, like, facing more difficult, like, stuff. I just, I want more, like, of a challenge. I want more excitement. There's not really anything exciting happening. Like, I'm just kind of watching these guys get destroyed by this thing over and over and over again. Well, I'm just putting down some reactors. You know, not anything's happening. They're just building up some, like, defenses. And get gathering some metal so that they can build a star dock. And over, over here, just trying to produce enough energy so that I can just... Spam fighter bays to inevitably just destroy them with mosquitoes. Like the goals we have are very different. Yep, now I'm just gonna start spamming mosquitoes. I already have a few nights going out just to be, you know, annoying. So now I can start sending up the mosquitoes. They'll start destroying the whole entire base. Nothing else really matters. There we go. Let me just keep doing this. Keep spamming the fighter bays. Yeah, this thing is gone for. There we go. Man, I just get, just keep doing this. Keep doing this over and over and over again. Like, this is it's just it's a repetition. It's not even, like, exciting. Now I'm facing the purple guy, too, and he just doesn't really do much other than send out the miners. I mean, how about this? As soon as he, as soon as he builds, I don't know. Is he even going to build like an extractor or is he just going to fully rely on the miner? He might just fully rely on the miner. I was going to say, as soon as he built an extractor, I'll send out, or like I'll start sending out some units and like start building my fighter base, but... I don't even know if he is going to send out, you know, or build an extractor, like... He has the miners, he probably isn't going to. Because miners are going to be better anyways. And he's got interceptors now. That's what they're called. Now we're just gonna try to score. Like interceptors are literally perfect for what I'm for my the strategy that I'm doing right now. But the goal is just swarm, swarm, swarm until their interceptors can literally not keep up, and then just swarm a little bit more. Yeah, that's what we're gonna do.
the heavy the the knights are act are also really good for just distracting, so. There we go. And they're destroyed. Nice. Um you know what? Maybe it would be a good idea to just uh, upgrade the mosquito. I do it. Yeah, I'm gonna do it. Horse rounds. Interesting. Um, they attack structures. I'm not really entirely sure what horse rounds are really gonna do for me, but sure. Why not? I'm gonna put that down. Just to help deal with their mosquitoes. Down a repair turret as well, just for the sake of it. Okay, then now we can start sending out our mosquitoes. Yeah, those force rounds are literally like the worst possible rounds for a mosquito. But the extra fire rate's gonna be good, so I'm not that mad about the upgrade. Could have been worse. Obviously could have been better, but can't be mad. Those force rounds push the units back. So if you have a have a a unit that only targets buildings, yeah, it's force rounds really aren't gonna do anything. Especially with mosquitoes, because most of the times they just one shot the units anyway, so. Plus, like, the attack speed boost, like the fire rate boost, that, now that's good. That's going to be really good for the, for the, for the mosquitoes, but. Also, I think the bosses and stuff is a little glitched, so I'm just going to buy the starter set. Um, just because. Um, and then you know what, but, I mean, I actually... I'll hold on to the normal train. Actually, let me sell this train. Now, let me upgrade. Did I upgrade the knight? I could. Yeah, that's a good thing. More fire rate? Sure. Take on the boss. Let's just, you know, swarm with mosquitoes. And then send in some more knights. Extra attack speed will definitely come in handy. Let's 
just put a failing failing stand, put a couple repair turrets down as well while I'm at it. Send in more mosquitoes. I don't really see this working, but if it does, I'm gonna be very surprised. Because really, they should have a pretty big advantage over me. Because I'm just sending in fighters. I mean, I am being annoying with the amount of fighters that I'm sending in. So in that sense, I kind of have the upper hand. But defensively, they should have the upper hand. They are at least getting extractors, which you know, is obviously going to allow them to get stronger ships than what I am sending at them. Things like the Trident are like a million times better than, than what I'm sending. I'm curious if this setup alone is enough to destroy, destroy their base. Kind of seems like it. The reason I say that is I'm destroying like some of their unit production stuff. Usually when that stuff starts falling, then it's like, oh yeah, they're screwed. then you don't have distractions anymore. So yeah, they're they're kind of screwed here, I think. Because yeah, now it's just kind of their base that's defending them. They don't even have any units actually sending out anymore. I very well could, you know. I was thinking about putting some extractors down, putting constructors down. But, like, I don't even really need to do that. I can just watch the mosquitoes destroy the boss, and that's all it took. See, so yeah, and I would have held on to that 30, you know, iron or whatever. But, for, I don't know. Maybe, it, maybe it's just, maybe it's just a one-time thing, but I tried doing it before on a different account and um just to kind of like see i i because i was just testing out the game and it wasn't with the boss thing but it was with like the daily platinum thing that's what it's called platinum and i was trying it out with that and i collected the daily platinum and it got rid of all of my platinum so I was like, so that's kind of why I just kind of was like, oh, maybe it's just like whenever you collect platinum, it just breaks the game. Okay. So yeah. I guess I could have held on to it, but I didn't want to risk losing like 30 platinum. I wonder if the repair turrets can repair themselves. They probably can, right? Okay, now he's got an extractor down. I'm gonna need to send in my mosquitoes. Send in some knights is with it, I guess. Might as well. While I'm at it. Definitely would prefer, prefer, prefer if they would attack uh, the extractor, because then that, if 
if they don't have enough metal to, you know, build anything, then they obviously can't build, like, a star dock or anything like that. So, it would be better to, like, focus fire the extractors and then... And then go for the rest of the base, because then you kind of keep them from building stronger, you know, units or anything like that. Anyways, um, it's been like, you know, it's been about 35 minutes or so. Um, I think, uh, I think I'm going to call it here. But yeah, if you guys enjoyed today's video of Obliterate Everything 3, if you did, please leave a like on it and subscribe to the channel. Um, it would mean the world to me, but yeah, I mean, this game isn't like super exciting so far, but you know, for nostalgia's sake, I'm absolutely loving this game and I cannot wait for when like, cause you know, this is only level two that I'm on right now. Things are going to get a whole lot more difficult in the future. I'm going to start unlocking a whole lot more stuff as well. And uh, yeah, so you, but you guys got to stay, stay tuned uh, for that kind of stuff. Anyways, yep, my name's Sam and I hope to see you guys in the next one. You guys take care.